Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to apply functions to your specific Power Query solutions. Therefore I'm first gonna fetch the function code that I want to apply. So in this case it's uh, the latest function that I've published, the PV present value function. So here down below the function code I click on view raw and then I have the code in a good format to copy. I click Control A and Control C to copy it and hop back to Excel. So here in Excel I have a table with three payment scenarios and as you can see here Excel has an idea of um, how the results should be. And now I want to apply my Power Query function to the same table and hopefully we'll see the same results than in Excel. So to do that I'm gonna bring this data to Power Query. Click on data from table range and then you can see here I have my data and now to apply a function I need to create a new query. I click on new source, other sources and then I choose blank query, blank query. And here I go to the advanced editor and replace everything in there by the code I've just copied, like so. Click done. And then I'm gonna give the query a nice name. In this case I'm name it according to the function name that I've used down here in the description. So it's FNPV, FNPV, like so. And the advantage on um, naming it identically to the examples below is that I then can simply check the function with the sample given below. So what I'm going to do is I copy everything here that sits in usage, I check it, copy it and cre create another query. Let's go to other sources, create a blank query again, go to, to the advanced editor and copy the code from the example. And here you see um, that the function returns the result and what has happened. So I've applied, I've used the function that I've just created here with the following parameters and the content of these parameters they stand in the steps above. So I have 8% interest rate, 20 periods, 500 payment per period, I have 10,000 future value and the payment um, is due at the beginning of the month. So this just easily allows you to check whether the function you've just created actually works. But in our case I wanted to apply the function to every row in this table. So and there's a convenient method to do just that. Therefore you click on add column and there you choose invoke custom function like so. And I just give the column name PV result and I choose the function query. In our case we just have one function in, in the current session so just one thing to, to choose and now I can basically allocate the correct columns to the function parameters. In the first case Power Query has identified a column already, uh, the rate column, because it has the same name probably. Here you see that in the drop down box you can choose between column name and decimal number. So the default setting was quite nice and we just apply that to the following parameters as well. So I choose column name and then here I'm gonna choose the respective column names. Yeah, I don't know why I picked the first one and not the other ones because they have also matching um, column names. 
but okay that's quickly made manually so we just map the columns to the function parameters like so and then I get the result so let's just close the editor and check whether it's identical with the Excel ones so I'm gonna keep my changes and then I'm gonna load the result to the sheet et voila the result look pretty identical let's just check it excellent so this is how to apply custom functions that you can find on the internet or wherever to your own solutions um, in a scenario where you apply it on a row by row level but there are other scenarios as well for example when you have functions that are basically applied to a whole table so let's check that scenario as well so for the table scenario I'm picking a function from my github repository where we can want to reference different rows from a table like the previous row for example so I'm gonna select this function also copy it and go back to Power Query so I'm gonna edit this table and let's just say that we want to apply this function in a way that we want to fetch the rate from the previous row so we want to basically add another column here to the right where we fetch the rate from the previous row here and to do that I have to reference the whole table so in the first function argument I can select my table then in the step parameter I'm gonna put in minus one because I want to fetch values from the previous row and the selected column is the column rate that I want to see and um, in my case I don't need any of these additional optional parameters I simply click on invoke and there I'm getting an error message let's see what it says error columns parameter must be null specify the number of columns list of column names or table type so I believe that what I made wrong is that um, in the third parameter I have to pass in my column references as a list let's see yeah that's has been the, the error so here we can see we now got a new column with the rate from the respected respective previous rows so this is just to give you an example on how other functions could require different application scenarios here in this case so we just feed in a full table value yeah so I hope you found this presentation useful and at least now how to apply custom functions to your own solutions until we finally have the function libraries in Power Query which yeah will hopefully come in March this year so, yeah so enjoy and stay curious bye